Oh boy, everybody, it's time to go fast. Sonic speed. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop doing the uh, Sonic, Sonic impressions. But hey, everybody, welcome to my third Let's Play, even though I haven't finished Mario & Luigi, which was my first. Uh, yeah, so this is Sonic Mania. I'm not... Is that supposed to be in black and white? I don't, I don't think, I don't think that's supposed to be in black and white, Chief. Uh, alright, I mean, I'm gonna just let it play. Alright, so welcome to Sonic Mania. This is a game that I've been wanting to do ever since I started the, ever since it came out, really. I wanted to let's play this game because I have 60 hours in this game. Why? Because I played it seven times. Six times in the main, in the normal Mania mode and once in Encore mode. Uh, I've gotten all the achievements, all the, uh, golds, all the Chaos Emeralds, all the gold medals, all that stuff. And, but, yeah, completely 100% of the game. Uh, except for getting all the Chaos Emeralds in Encore mode, which I will be doing in this Let's Play, but I'm not actually going to be playing Encore mode. Because it's basically the same as, uh, as Mania mode, except with, uh, a character switch out feature. But anyway, let's get right into this game. Uh, so what I'm doing in this is I'm going to try and collect all 7 Chaos Emeralds in one run. If I can, which I should be able to. Uh, I'm going to show off every special ring in the game, which is what leads to the special stages. I will list on Notepad right now, not showing where the locations are, but showing where the... Uh, where how like how many are in each zone in each act so all right let me just go to game options real quick i'm going to turn off time limits specifically because i'm going to be looking for those special stages because i didn't write down where they are because i want to challenge myself and see if i could find them i'm not playing with tails sadly i just find it better to just play with sonic only so let's get right into this game And I guess this game is supposed to take place right after Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Because Sonic and Tails are coming back to Angel Island on the same plane. And then there's these Egg Robo guys. Oh, I, I just finished playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles for the first time. Oh, I just popped my, into my desk. And I really hate these guys. Because they're so annoying. And uh, that one stage, I forgot what it's called. Sky Sanctuary. And so they pulled out this mysterious ruby thing it's called the phantom ruby and it lets you teleport to different places so we teleport from angel island, island to green hill zone and if you notice up there they transformed into these super egg robo guys i forget their name the hard-boiled tubbies that's what they're called so sonic mania is basically just a retro throwback to uh all the genesis sonic games uh you can do any anything sonic can do you could spin dash you could roll you could most important feature look up it's and also the game looks beautiful running at 60 60 fps it's really probably yeah it's definitely my favorite sonic game of all time but one new thing that sonic can do in this game compared to all that he can't in any other game except for i guess the sonic ages sonic ages version of uh sonic one on the switch but he could do a thing called drop dash so when you jump in midair god damn it i when you jump in midair hold down the button you'll do like a dash when you land and it's really good for speed running and doing some really cool things all right so uh since i got all the uh gold medals in the game we're not going to be getting the blue spear stages from the gold rings instead we're going to be getting this like pinball game however i'll be showing off the uh i'll definitely yeah let me, let me try and go back do you think it'll be st still be there if i go back i don't know if it's going to be there yeah, it's definitely not going to be there. Oh, no, it is. Oh. Oh, I got it last second. Okay. All right, bonus stage. So it's just like this little simple pinball game. Then when you get to the top, you play this crane machine for items. I usually try to go for the one-ups. They're just the best to go for. Oh, I, I missed it. Though I missed. Taking... I was just watching some uh, DRG. Uh, how do I... Oh, it's down. Okay, I thought it was A for a second. I was like, is my controller broken? Alright, I got the the uh, lightning shield, which you could do a uh, double jump with, I'm pretty sure. Returning from Sonic 3. Let me just try and grab that one up, I see. There we go. 
and there's multiple stages to this uh, little pinball machine, but I'm not going to show it all off right now because I want to get back into the gameplay. You could get continues in this game, not like it really matters, but... Uh... Yeah. Alright. Should... I know, I know where the uh, special... Specials... Did I... Okay, my controller disconnected. God damn. I know where the special stage ring is in this stage. Everyone knows where it is. You just kind of like have to run forward after this section, I think. Yeah. It's gonna be like spikes on the ground. And I get hit by them, because of course I have to be bad at a game I've played eight times and got 100% in. Let's player curse. We it's the recording curse. Alright, so here's the first special stage ring. How the special stage, stages work in this game is that you have to collect these blue balls, which you could uh, get uh, next get to the next Mac level, basically. But you want to collect rings, because they act as your timer. And you have a certain time limit to try and catch that UFO. Basically, the more the more Mac you have, the higher Mac level you have, the faster you are. Uh, it's actually a good idea to stay on the grounds when you're doing these, because because you slow down when you jump. First stage is really easy though. Also, I'm going to be showing off the encore mode, uh, encore, encore, encore mode special stages because they're actually different from the main game. Uh. However, I've not, never beaten a single one of them, so I'll have to make like a, a compilation video of me playing the first stage over and over again and trying to get all, this, all the Chaos Emeralds in that mode. Okay, so that's the first Chaos Emerald. I actually think that the bonus videos I have planned for this series out like outnumbers the actual episodes for the Let's Play, for the main part of it at least. Uh, I'm not going to go back in the special stage just because there's not really a point to... Uh, I can't go back. I wanted a I wanted a hundred rings. Uh, all right. First state, first boss. He's like, yeah, it's like, it's reminiscent to the uh, first. God damn it, the first boss of a uh, of Sonic One, the little wrecking ball. Really easy though. You just gotta hit the one that isn't spiky. I, you can still hit the ones that are spiky. It's just you'll have the damage boost to do that. I'm trying to do like a walkthrough type. Uh, my voice cracked right there. I'm trying to do like a vo like a uh, walkthrough type uh, let's play for this, just cause like I want to give this game what it deserves. I like to like the trailer. I don't even think I'm gonna follow up with much of the stuff I did in that uh, Danception direct, cause most of the stuff I had planned there was like stuff I wanted to do, and then realized that uh, that I later didn't want to do. You know. I should probably try to be more chill during the Let's Plays though, because, you know, yeah, I don't I don't think being informative is my thing. I like just talking, talking about stuff while playing the game. You see, like, I don't think it's a bad thing to go off on tangent talking about, like, random stuff about in during a Let's Play. As long as you, like, keep the Let's Play as you originally planned it to be, at least with the gameplay. That's why, the, that's why a lot of people like the... Did I, did my controller just... Yep, my controller disconnected. Hold on. Hmm. Great. This is gonna this is gonna be a thing throughout the series. It is that's why a lot of people like the game grumps is because like you know they do they do a lot of, like they talk about a lot of like unrelated things to the game like stuff that's unrelated to the game they're playing. But that's excuse me. Was there was there seriously? A, well, I just realized I wasn't look. Did I did I seriously? Did I seriously just miss the goddamn? Okay, okay, game. I see you. I see you. Okay, you know what? Let's just let's just take this chill. Let's look for them special stage rings. Hopefully, I'll be able to find them because there's two in this act. Um, I don't know if there's one back here. I have a feeling there isn't. Oh, let's just take them back here. Okay. Yeah, I have a feeling there isn't one here. It's better to stay near the top of the stage when you're doing this, just cause like most of the good most of the goodies are up near the top. That's usually how Sonic games work. It's harder to stay in the top, but all the good stuffs on there kind of re rewards you for staying in the top path. You know, 
All right, let's, should I skip the that checkpoint for now? Yeah, I will. I'm good enough. Oh, I just died two, in a row, two times in a row. I'm good enough to keep this on my own. I think I have a. I have to like. I don't know how do I get into that. I'm not sure. Maybe it's like somewhere, something down here. Maybe. No, wait. Something up there. Something. Something up there. I gotta stop mumbling so I actually can talk, and you can hear me. Hey, so when did I get that checkpoint? Why is there a checkpoint right here, right next to the other one? Yikes. Okay, I guess I have to stay on the top of that one? Uh, yeah, I think so. Alright, I figured it out. Okay, let me just get back through here. And this is exactly why I turned off the time limit. I guess you could count it as cheating, but I don't really count so good. It's like, like, what? Like, the time limits are so, like, there's no reason for it to be there. Oh god, it's gonna be even harder for me to get on that, uh, latch onto this. Oh, I did that though. Shit. Mm -mm -mm. Damn it. I, I keep missing that one, uh, that damn hang glider. I guess it's not called a hang glider. Would it, would it just be called a collider? Like, I don't know what it's called. Whenever I see one of those, it re reminds me of that one mini game from Mario Party DS. Where you, oh, I guess it's gone then. Well, is there something I could jump off of here? Oh, I guess there's this. Crap. I'm, I'm so used to playing Sonic 3. I'm used to using... Did that... I didn't... Okay, come on. Is it really going to take this long for me to just get a... Get the goddamn special ring? Is it seriously going to take me this long? God damn. Okay, you know what? Just let me die, please. Let me just let me just go back to the stage. Go back to the action. So I'm splitting the main part of the series. Okay, thank God I actually have this. This will make it a lot easier. Uh, I'm splitting this the main part of the series into six parts. One for each uh, act. Okay, there we go. One for each act. One for I mean one for two zones. One episode is gonna be two zones basically. And there we go. One episode's gonna be two zones, so that means there's gonna be six main parts to this. And he's gonna turn over there. Alright, so this, this is the second special stage in the game, getting the yellow emerald. Ooh, I almost hit that. Yeah, I gotta, for, for, I gotta remember to grab the rings in these stages, cause like... Cause, uh, they're the most important thing, other than catching the, the guy. Ooh, I actually might run out of rings. Already, okay. It's just because I, I want to stay on the ground so I don't have to, like, play catch up with this guy. But I might actually have to jump a few times just so I can grab some rings so I don't have to get a time up. Alright, you know what? I got this guy. Actually, I'm going to try and get this. And I'm, that adds, a, adds you up to Mac 2. I don't think I actually needed that though because... It already put, in, put me up to Mach 2 with the with the blue spears. Crap. Mm -mm, I, I got him, I got him, I got him. There we go. Alright, that's the second Chaos Emerald done. Second out of seven. Hmm. The first four are easy, the last three are hard. That's always what I get to when I play this game. Alright, but there's still one more special stage ring I have to find. Don't know exactly where it is. Uh, maybe actually, if it's like the underwater one. Is there an underwater one? I don't remember. Okay, let me grab the flame shield, which lets you do like a little Kirby fire dash thing. Okay, do you think I can ride this? Damn it! I have a feeling there's something up there. Oh, I didn't know this was here. Gotta go fast, boys. <laughs> Gotta go fast. <laughs> I, I remember I used to watch like the Son like the old Sonic cartoons, you all know, remember that? It was like uh the ones voiced by Steve Urkel, the, I don't forget his I forget his name, the actor's name. I probably pissed off a lot of people by saying I didn't remember the actor's name. Hey, what if I burn the bridge down here? Is there a secret is there, is there a secret down here for burning the bridge? No there isn't, okay. Yeah, you could burn bridges with the uh, fire shield and I lost it. Great. Hmm. 
I have a feeling I made a mistake and I want to stay in the top area. But I, I don't know how I stay up there to be honest. Oh crap, I think I might have went past it. Uh, down here, maybe? No. There's rings down there, I don't know what they're doing. Okay, no, that's the same place I was there just now. I want to get the top path, but I think I screwed myself. Did I seriously, like, screw myself out of it? No, 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 wait, 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 wait. How do I fix this? Hmm. Did I seriously make a major, major screw up there? Oh, ma oh, that's, that's death. I d didn't know, I thought that led somewhere, but you know. It's like that one part of uh, Sonic 2. That one hole that everyone dies in because you can't see the bottom of it. Oh, ma oh no, I remember this. Wait, wait, you have to like push the rocks? Why is it weirdly shaped like this? Why is there random water? I, I have a feeling there's something underneath here. Just can't put my finger on it. Feels suspicious. I'll have to come back here. Or is it maybe down here? I'm seriously. This is. No. I, is there really not nothing down there? Hmm. Well, I guess I have to suck at the game I'm really good at. Great. This is why I love doing Let's Plays. Get to suck at games that you thought you were good at and then realize how bad you actually are. God damn it. You just stop getting hit by the goddamn thing, like... Oh no, maybe I have to burn the bridge here, but I don't have this fire shield! Getting hit left and right, it's, this is a mess. At least I got a life out of that. Oh well. Uh, something down here. Oh wait, maybe. No, that's just a secret path. Am I seriously like missing? Am I seriously gonna go the entire part without finding this one? This one uh, ring. All right, I could restart the level. <laughs> I mean, I could always cut this stuff out. Uh, is it down here? I I remember it being in water. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just being really stupid and thinking it's in the water when it's actually not. Probably isn't. Maybe it's just my bad memory. Oh, I might have to actually restart the level. Great. Wait, do I do I lose my chaos emerald? Did I did I screw myself out of? Oh boy. Yeah, I might have to cut back. Mm, I might have to cut back <laughs> the start of the. Ooh, I might have to cut back when I find it. Okay, oh, I. I'll... Since I made it to the end of the level, I'll cut back when I find that secret ring. Yeah, I'll see you then. I might as well just talk here because random stuff, random nonsense, is gonna be going on. So, uh, yeah, let me just... I don't remember where it is. Should I look it up? Should I look it up? Uh, I'm considering it. I'm really considering looking it up. Alright, I think I found it. Let me- I'll have to cut that out, out in editing. Yes, I'm actually gonna edit this part. Hmm. I know where the first ring is, it's just the question is, uh, do I have to- Did I really? Did I really screw my- Ah! Crap. I think I actually screwed myself again. This game is already pissing me off and I haven't even start finished the first- Act. Great. This is just great. Hmm. No, I already actually already collected it. Hmm. 
Alright, I guess I don't have to worry about that. Main thing I want to worry about is finding where that flame shield is. Forget where it is. Son of a bitch, the flame shield. Oh boy, this let's play is going to be a doozy because I got to record multiple parts and you know, all that crap. Okay, here's the flame shield. Question is, can I keep it for long? Okay, I was just up here. Don't need. I. I. I um, why? Why game? Why must you do this to me? Why must you barrage me with this goddamn bullcrap? Every time I want to play the game, every time I want to make it somewhere without getting hit, you make me get hit. Isn't that just great? Oh, it's just great. Oh god, I want to burn this bridge. I remember this now. Hopefully there's a che there's a checkpoint here. I need to get a flame shield from the from the special stage. Wait, no, 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 no. Did I screw myself up? Did I screw myself from Did I seriously screw myself from going up that? Oh no. Oh no. Is that bridge even burnable? I'm not sure. Come on, give me a flame shield. No, I don't I don't want that crap. I don't want I don't want your your lightning shields. No. Give me Give me my my fire shield, please. Where's my flame shield? Come on. Does this thing just not give you flame shields when you most need it? Is that it? Is that is that really it? Okay, come on. Okay, this should give you stuff every time. Yes, there's a flame shield. I think it goes off here. Yep, 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 yep. And now I'm just gonna die. I'm gonna die because I don't want to replace my shield. Just press nothing. If, if. Oh, I gotta continue. I swear to God, if I somehow make it to the top without using the flippers. Although that might have been, might be impossible unless the bumper hits you right then and there. Can I burn the bridge with this? Did I? Legitimately screw myself. No, no, I remember. There's another bridge. That's right. That's right. Ooh. This guy. Ooh, no, please. Fuck. Is that? Oh wait, huh? Is that? I'm smart. I'm s I'm very very smart for falling for the same trap two times in a row. There's a lot of. I see. I sense a pattern here. Okay, I could try and get 25 rings and try and go back into the special stage. Or is it between the- Oh, it was here. Okay, I did, so I didn't need the flame shield. Alright, so this is- Watch me lose it too. This is special stage level 3, and uh, this is where it starts to pick up because they throw a lot of curveballs your way, and he's already far ahead, goddamn. They start to throw a lot of curveballs your way with this one. I'm just going to grab a bunch of rings here. Yeah, he's really far away. <laughs> oh god, it's gonna, I'm gonna have fun catching up with this. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. This doesn't give you much, but it gives you something, I guess. So I guess it's the fastest path to follow him on. I don't need any of those right now. I'm going at Mach 2. It's possible to catch him at Mach 1, I'm pretty sure. I also think this path is faster than going the normal route. Okay, follow him to the left. I should be able to catch him. Unless I hit myself off the spikes, which make you lose your rings. Oh yeah, invisible bumpers. Yeah, that's that's great. Just wonderful. Alright, come on. 27 seconds left. Got him, alright. Third emerald down. Down to get a chaos emerald. As I was talking about before, the uh, <laughs> the uh, old Sonic cartoons. There was there was three Sonic cartoons I remember. Yeah, they had a lot of goddamn Sonic the Hedgehog cartoons. There was the uh, Sonic SAT Saturday morning cartoon. I think. It, yeah, I remember that. It was like kind of like an adaptation. Kinda, it had the characters and the setting from the comics. I remember. Yeah. Not a direct adaptation of the comics, but like, uh, like a, like a, you know, like a, uh, 
kind of what they're doing for Dragon Ball Super, you know, they finished the anime, but it's like reverse, because like, it's, it's a different story than the comics, but it uses the same characters. And then there is, a uh, there's Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, which, uh, it's similar to, uh, oh, what the, what the hell did that, okay, I clipped through that, apparently. It's similar to that of the comic, like, it's, but it's only Sonic and Tails, and they have some of the characters from the comics, like they have, uh, Dr. Robotnik's design from it. And all that, I think Princess Sally shows up in one episode. Uh, it's... It's alright. I remember, that was my favorite first print one of the cartoons, because it was more slapstick than anything. And I think that fit Sonic more than, like, the serious, edgy crap that the SAT one had. Well, it wasn't all edgy, but it was like... You get what I mean. And then there was Sonic Underground, which was... Whatever Sonic Underground was. Oh yeah, the way to cheat this boss. Alright, so... So the uh, the uh, I forgot what it's called the egg rob the uh, the egg robot in uh yeah for some reason we're fighting this guy in Axe in Green Hill Zone isn't that just great but it's a really easy fight you just gotta wait for him to be on a lower level or for him to shoot at his uh, arms and then you can hit him in the top of the head. Or you could just deal with the bullshit that you have to do in Sonic 2. I actually forget the name of this boss. I, I just call him the Egg Robot. I don't know if that's the actual name though. I know that there's a limit that, uh, to how much platforms there are in this. But he's easy enough. You could hit him from the bottom too because his legs don't hurt you. Yeah, like, like this. And he's dead. And no, you cannot kill yourself by jumping off this, because, yeah, <laughs> what is the grass? Uh, I'm, I'm stuck. Oh, never mind. I just, I, I just like moonwalk there. Alright, we got through Act 2 of Green Hill Zone. I actually want to check, what the hell is the time at? We're at 27 minutes already? God damn. And we still got chemical, chemical plant to do. This is just great. Well, I'm probably gonna cut out a bunch from when I had to restart the, uh... Restart the second act. But, you know, I'm gonna continue going. I'm gonna continue on with this part. And we're gonna head off the chemical plant. Which has some jamming music. Oof. Yeah, chemical plant has one of my favorite songs in Sonic history. My favorite song, Sonic... Sonic though, uh, I don't know, it was, okay, I like the, uh, Star of the Speedway a lot, uh, this game's version of Metallic Madness, and, uh, what's the other one called, Flying Battery Zone, I like those ones a lot, okay, so this one's gonna be harder to find the, uh, the, the ring then, because, like, they're really hidden. Because you go, the stage is really fast paced. Because it's chemical plant, of course. It has to be really fast paced, or else it isn't chemical plant. Okay, there's one special, special ring in this stage, I remember. Wait, let me go back. I think it might have been, it's like, I think you go through the walls over here, and nope. I know you go through the walls in some section to find the, uh, the special stage. Although I don't know where exactly it is. In here? Yep. Alright. Found it. Well, that makes it a lot easy easier for me. Alright. Special stage number four. This is the first real hard one I remember. First one I really had some trouble with. I'm going to save that ring capsule for later. Let me just stay on the ground here. You can actually jump here. Did I admit? Oh... Yeah, the timing to get that ring capsule is really hard. Okay, that's the first special stage we lost. Ooh, but no, don't worry, we have a lot coming up ahead of us. <laughs> Two in the next act. Like, I don't want, I want to want to get su Super Sonic this early, but the reason why you gotta collect all the Chaos Emeralds is because there's the secret final boss that I want to show off. If I don't end up getting all the Chaos Emeralds, I'll just, I won't record. Like, I'll play the final level by myself. And then I'll, like, record the, uh, I'll record me with the, uh, Chaos, with the, uh, Chaos Emeralds. 
Like, I'll record me, like, playing Green Hill Zone over and over again and just getting all the Chaos Emeralds if I'm not able to get all of them during the playthrough, which I, sh I should be able to do. It's not that hard. It's actually one of the easier games to get all the Chaos Emeralds in. In my opinion, the easiest game to get all the Chaos Emeralds in is, uh, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Finding the Super em the, uh, s the uh, Super Emeralds is a lot harder, just because the the rings are a lot more hidden in that, in that. Although, personally, the hardest game to get all the Chaos Emeralds, in my opinion, is Sonic 2. Although you have the multiple checkpoints you could go through to get the, uh, to get the Emeralds, it's like the stages themselves I just hate playing. They're just so hard. The half pipe, I can't see anything coming up ahead of me. Oh boy, imagine when I have to let's play Sonic 2, because I'm planning to let's play a lot of games. I don't know what I'm going to do after this. I'm planning to do like an NES game, so or like a short NES playthrough, you know. Alright, I think we're at the Act 1 boss. I don't think this is a reference to anything in Sonic, it's just an, an original boss fight to the game. But he, this guy just bounces around. You can't touch him while he has the chemicals on him, but you can touch him afterwards. Uh, I think I think the bubbles might be a reference to Sonic CD with the title Tempest boss. Yeah, I, I play a lot of Sonic. I, like I play a lot of classic Sonic, especially CD and Mania. Those are the two games I play the most. I'm still trying to get all the achievements in the Steam port of CD. All right. That's that boss done. Also, you could bounce around. I just forgot to mention this. You could bounce around the uh, the signpost just like you can in uh, Sonic 3, and it's just like Sonic 3, you may be able to find some uh, some um, item boxes. I think there was one right to the left of where the signpost. Like, did Sonic just wink at me in the sign? I'm sorry. That that's that's creepy. No, don't ever do that to me again, please. All right. So Act Two. Which is way better, because uh, they add some new stuff, these little syringes, they'll put in these goo, which lets you bounce on the chemicals. And the green goo lets you bounce really high, it's really, it's pretty fun, but it makes getting all this the special stage rings in this stage absolute hell. I don't remember where, where they are in this stage. But, you know, let's go for it, alright. Hmm, I forgot, I forgot, I, I forgot of some things to talk about. I think this is going to be my only recording for today. I, you know, like, you, you might have recognized that usually I just mass upload videos on, on Fridays. That's because I don't necessarily, like, my internet is horrible. And I just go to a friend's house to upload all my videos because his internet's like, 10 times faster than mine. Actually, more than 10 times faster. I'm actually going left this time. And hopefully I can find... Come on, special rings. Oh, nope. Nothing there. Maybe there's something up here. Nope, I can't drop through there. I don't I don't really like going to the, spe the special ring, like the, uh, the signpost stages, just because they're like... I mean, I have nothing wrong with the level itself. It just breaks the pace of the game. Especially, I, I had that problem when I was trying to get all the gold medals from the blue spear stages. Yeah, I just broke the flow of the game and I didn't really really like it that much. Come on, let me see, I want to see if there's something over here. Nope, nothing over here. All right. You know, some maybe sometimes if like if I can't find all the special rings in the stage, I could just like well, I could look it up and just restart the level or I could do like a I'm planning to do a bonus video showing off where all the special stage rings are anyways. Did I pass by one? I'm really not sure if I passed by one already. I have a feeling I did. Whoops. Is there one over here? Okay, this is where I was just at. And I made a mistake. I should have went back down there. Actually, could I fall back through here? I guess I can. Try and angle myself. There we go. Okay, now I can go check out. Uh, excuse me. 
It won't let me through the... Okay, great. I didn't know that. Glad, glad to know. Glad, glad to know that I can't go backtrack and go look for them. You know what? I'll try my best. Okay, you know what? I'll try my best to find all the special, special uh, rings, the special stage rings. And if not, I'll just include them in the bonus video I have planned. Okay, maybe it's up here, and I'm just missing something. Or maybe I don't know. There's something up here I'm missing. How the hell do I get up there? How the hell do I grab those? Oh well. And I'm back in here. Yeah, so I'll basically go back in the video and look for the special stage rings that I missed. Because, like, I don't really want to have to break the pace of everything and go restart the level. Because that's just not fun for me. I'd rather do it and rather do it like... Like, I, okay. Let me explain exactly what I'm trying to do. So, like, I'm going to make a bonus video, just like the Cuphead one, which I don't know if it's going to be up by now or not. Where I find all the secret rings that I missed. Like, I'll find them by myself, and I'll commentate over them, and also show the ones I did get during the Let's Play. Which, yeah, I think that's a good plan. Okay, I'm not going to play the pinball game for that long. I love chemical plants so much. I forget if it's in here. No, 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 you need the flame shield for that. Ooh. Do you think I could, I could get the flame shield? Or oh, maybe it's maybe she's gonna pass me by through here? Great. Just great, game. Just great. Just make me skip past everything. Well, uh, at least I'm gonna look for the special stages. Because I don't wanna spoil. I don't wanna look at a walkthrough. It's just not. It's not, it makes it more surprising for me when I find it more, make, makes me feel more rewarded. I think there's one up here, actually. There might be, actually, yeah, there might be a special stage ring up here. Am I right? Am I right? Yep, I'm right. Alright. At least that's, at least that's one in Chemical Plant. Because I'll look back in these videos after recording, and I'll make a list of the ones I need to go back and find. Because I'm doing like a semi walkthrough style let's play with this one. Okay, this time I'm not gonna go get that because I died last time. Yeah, this this stage is really, really bonkers. It's like. Alright, at least we got that. Alright, Mach 2, let's go. Yeah, this stage is like. It's a lot harder because there's a lot more paths that split apart. And you wanna stay on the main track or else, like, you're gonna slow down. Like I did just right there. Do you ever notice when you're playing like racing games or stuff like this, like you always tilt, like you always tilt yourself when you're turning? Like I always do that with stuff like Mario Kart, like Mario Kart 8 and stuff. Speaking of Mario Kart 8, I'm not sure what, I'm getting a Switch next month. I'm not sure if I should ever get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with it. Uh, I've heard it's good, like all the extra stuff is good, and they've like the uh, online is kind of fixed. For anything, I'll buy it if it's on sale, because I already own the Wii U version. But I'd like to, I mean, maybe if the online dies out on the Wii U, then yeah, I'll get the Switch, because my favorite thing about Mario Kart 8 is the online. Although, I still haven't 100% of the game, and gotten all three stars in the uh, Grand Prix modes. And that's Chaos Emerald number 4, we are not even done Chemical Plane, and we already got 4, that's great. I always like to collect the, cha the Chaos Emeralds early when I'm playing through this because it's just Supersonic is so goddamn fun to use. I wish there was a way to like turn off the Supersonic music when you're like had them on. I, I knocked myself into the pinball game. Hmm. Ain't that just just great. Just goddamn great. Actually, you know what's great? Like I don't really talk about JoJo a lot in the uh in my let's plays, but god damn, I am enjoying the hell out of uh, part 5, the part 5 anime. Because part 5, like, it's my favorite part in the manga, probably gonna be my favorite part in the anime because god damn, it's just, it's just, it's just amazing. How I'd rank the, like, okay, let's just assume that part 5 will be in my number one in the anime, like, out of my anime parts. 
Uh, yeah, so Golden Wind would rank number one for me. Actually, you know what? It's kind of it's kind of going downhill from point reverse. It's like it's like Golden Wind, then Diamond is Unbreakable, then Stardust Crusader, then Battle of Tendency, then uh, then Phantom Blood. Yes, I actually like. Okay, I, let me shut up about that. This is the Act Two boss, which you get to play. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bee Machine or Poyo Poyo against the man himself. This is one of the coolest bosses in the game, or a really unique one. It I know it breaks the pace of the game, but it's just the music, everything added to it. It's just amazing. I am not the greatest at Puyo Puyo. Um, but you know, I, I'm decent. I've played through this a lot. I have a uh, Puyo Puyo Tetris. And I play that a bit online. But, uh, I'm just gonna... Okay, I'm messing up now. I'm gonna use the D-pad for this. Because I'm using my Xbox controller. Uh... Yeah. Well, actually, there is there is a B Mean Bean Machine mode where you can just play the game with two players. Uh, in the extras menu, which I'll do a bonus video on. I'll bring a, bring a guest on here and we'll play a two-player mode. Same with competitive mode. I'll bring two to four people to play it. I don't know if I'm gonna bring four people on, but definitely two. Definitely at least two to play it because it's a it's a really under underappreciated mode, the competitive mode or the race mode or whatever you want to call it. Because it's kind of like the uh, like the uh, competitive mode in Mario New Super Mario Bros. Wii, where you like uh, I'm doing so bad right now. I'm sorry. Where you like um, play the stages and then you like cross them out or something after you're done playing it. I might be wrong, I'm probably wrong, I actually think I'm wrong about that. But basically when you play the stages, uh, it cr you like cross out the stage so you can't play it until someone loses I guess, or someone gets the most wins. Well, I'll, I'll explain it more in detail when I actually get to that bonus video. And we beat Robotnik, or Dr. Eggman, or whatever you want to call him. I like calling him Robotnik in the classic games, and I call him Eggman in the like adventure past games. I don't know if I'm ever gonna let's play Sonic Adventure. Most I haven't played the game myself yet. I've seen the uh, Runaway Guys let's play the game, and it looks pretty fun. All right, so we did indeed miss that one special ring, which I'll show in the bonus video. Uh, if if I missed it, yeah, I definitely didn't miss it. I'll show it in the bonus video. But from now on, I'll try and find as many as possible. That's only one missed out of like five special stage rings we play through. I think that's pretty good. So anyways guys, that's gonna be it for Sonic Mania 43 minutes, holy damn. That's gonna be it for Sonic Mania today. Hope you had an, a nice time watching this first episode. I definitely did myself. And we'll see you in the next part where we play Studio Opolis and Flying Battery Zone.